What's up nerds on the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Bounty of One. Now, I thought I wouldn't play this game so much. I thought it would just be a one-off, maybe a two-off, maybe even a three-off. But you seem to like the game, I really do like the game, so let's go play it. And today I thought about doing something slightly stupid. Um, you know what? Sure, let's just get to infamy level 5, why not? Now, I'm gonna use Nigel. And what I'm gonna do is, each time we level up, each time we get a boss chest, whatever, we will always go for the middle option. No matter what options they give us, no matter what options the game decides to present to us, we're gonna go for the middle option. And it's gonna be bad. <laughs> like, it's gonna be really bad. We could be lucky, we could get a few really good uh, things, but it could also be our demise. We will see. Like, there are a few abilities that I really don't want to get, there are a few things that I really don't care about, especially with Nigel. But we're also always <laughs> gonna go for the middle. Something just dropped. Uh, yeah, I mean, re reduce the cooldowns would be great. Raise the range of your area of effect, sure, why not? But we're gonna gain a little bit of attack speed. <laughs> because we're always going for the middle option. By the way, I'm gonna say it right now. Uh, many people asked me so far, or a few people asked me so far, how to unlock characters. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. Like, I don't know how I unlock Nigel. I think, and we gain a little bit more of attack speed. Sure, that's actually not that bad. Could be better than Grey, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, I think I unlocked Nigel by just winning once, maybe twice, against the first boss. But someone then said, yeah, they, they won a few times, but didn't get Nigel. So maybe you have to win and do something specific? I don't know. What I know, or what I've read, is that Olin, the one, the cactus guy, that I thought would just be included in the... Oh my goodness, in a little bit of attack speed again. Ouch. Uh, I thought the one, uh, he was included in the early access for everyone, but no. I mean, yeah, he is included, but you have to unlock him. Seems like you have to unlock him by playing through a full round or whatever. I, I think you have to win a full round where you have cooldown reduction of, uh, so, uh, no wait, your cooldown reduction is so high that your cooldowns here with 100%, wait, can I show you the mouse cursor? Yeah. If this is 100%, but 50, 50% or less, then you unlock all in afterwards. That's at least what I've read, and that kinda seems like it's true. And then there's another character that I didn't know of, that uh, someone in the comments told me about. It's the shopkeeper. It's the eagle, I think. Or I, I think at least it's a shopkeeper, but they, they said it's an eagle. eagle, And you get him by spending 50 or more gold nuggets. Oh, raise your maximum health by one, nice. 50 or more gold nuggets in the shop. So... Takes a while, but hey, it's it's a bonus character. I always like unlocking bonus characters. I really loved when games had, <laughs> when almost every game had some kind of unlockable thing that's not tied to money. How did that hit? Whatever. But like, I I loved it in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh my goodness, I saw it coming and I just couldn't. I, I just didn't, you know? I just did not move. I really need some health. Or a, anything that like heals me. Uh, an ability would be nice, but the problem is we, we don't have free reign over what ability we want. All we can do is just go around, pick the middle option in whatever, and hope it's something good. Alright, uh, that guy is pretty hard to focus, I'd say, but I think we're about done. Uh, now all I need is a dash. Yeah, that would be great, but again, I'm gonna go for the middle option. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the chest in just a second, but uh, there is a lot of stuff that I haven't picked up. And that's another level up, and increase the chance of a critical hit by 5%. Uh, again, if it were like something a little bit more than just gray, no matter what, 
No matter what they want to give us, or the game want to give us. Alright, give me the middle thing. Oh, that's actually good. Dashing through enemies deals damage to them. That's awesome, and it still has the spelling error of dashing through enemies deal damage to them. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, I almost ran into that goblin there. Like, not the boss, but the other one. That would have killed me. Middle. Gain an armor that protects you from one hit every 60 seconds. Oh, that's really good. Especially since the 60 seconds are just now with the full 100% cooldown. Alright, we gain quite a lot of things. When you stay still, periodically shoot around you. That's great. Especially since Nigel has the boomerang shot, so even the ability comes back, and I really do like that. We could have dashed through enemies, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Purple attack speed, purple dash, but no, we're gonna increase our critical chance by 5%. What? I gotta say, so far, <laughs> I'm positively surprised because there's not really much that screws us over currently. Like, our abilities are good. Our stats are, I mean, not great. By all means, they are really not great. <laughs> but <coughs> they are... <coughs> I'm sorry. They are, like, decent enough, I would say. And we gained a little bit more of damage. I mean, it's enough now that a single... Like, a single trajectory of the Morning Star kills the little enemies, but it's still not a whole lot of damage we're doing. I would like at least some blue, maybe some purple. Doesn't have to be golden, but I mean, yeah, sure, critical dam damage deals 100% more. I'll take it. We only have a 15% critical hit chance, but at least we deal uh, three times the damage when we critically hit. So it's something. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. Right, I want that gold coin. That's a whole lot more. And we gain more attack speed. 0.3 attacks per second. That's actually not bad. And as we know from Nigel, if you have attack speed that's, I think, more than 2 point something, you just shoot more projectiles than just one, which is really fun. So I don't mind getting more attack speed. I really don't. All right, just I dashed through a few enemies that didn't really do much, but whatever. See, I could technically do the same. Oh, that is awesome. 2.3, is that enough? No, it's almost enough. I think it's 2.5, 2.4 or 2.5 where you start shooting two projectiles. But yeah, we got golden, that's great. And by the way, if we ever pick up uh, the one, was it an ability? No, it was just a bonus for leveling up. If we ever, oh shit, that was bad. Uh, pick up the one by chance where we gain more choices where it's four choices instead of three then I'll either like Switch between the left one the right one the left one the right one in the middle or I'll just choose from the two in the middle But we'll see about that All Right 2.5. I think we should oh wow. We're actually dealing We're critically hitting quite a bit I think we're already shooting two. Game three reroll upgrade choices. I don't think we'll ever use that, but you know what? The game gives it to us, so maybe we'll just do it every now and then. Like we only have three anyway. You know, four times the damage. Once we take damage, that's all right. So yeah, maybe since I got the three rerolls. Maybe I'll just use them if I see it fit. Like, if I get something in the middle that really sucks, I'll just re-roll. Like so. <laughs> Not really better. And I don't know why I keep the two re-rolls, because we always just go for the middle anyway. But hey, whatever. Oh, there is a heart that we might lose in a second. Nope. That's great. We don't. This is actually going way better than I thought it would. Like, I, I didn't think that we would uh, lose completely or in, in... Oh, wow. I ran into that because I just wiped my forehead. 
sweating a little bit, but whatever. I didn't think we would just crash and burn, but I just didn't think that we would have anything like valuable or usable. Oh, that's actually good. We're up to 4.5 times the damage if we critically hit. Yeah, you can do the exact same challenge with just always going for the thing on the left, always going for the thing on the right, always switching up between like first level up, it's the left, second level up, it's the middle, third level up, it's the right, something like that. You can just goof around with it. It's just something that uh, that came to mind. And yeah, a dash would be great. <laughs> something that I just, that it came to mind a few days ago and I was like, you know what, that sounds stupid enough, I want to try it. And I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? It's just a bad run and that's pretty much it. But so far, looking all right. We even gain the shields. We got pretty defensive abilities without choosing them. I like that. I feel pretty lucky today. All right. I'll level up again. Thank you. What do we get? 100% more damage, sure. Now, I would like more critical hit chance because we're still at 15% and that's not a whole lot. But I mean, with 2.5 shots per second, there is a pretty big chance of us just critically hit, hitting every few seconds. Just shoot enough times and even a 1% chance is decent. That's mad. <laughs> All right, can we level up with the gold coin here? Yes, we can. Another gold coin, that's great. I want to re-roll. I want to re-roll again. I don't really care. <sighs> I mean, cooldown reduction. Sure, why not? For the dashes and all. Also, our uh, shield ability, where every 60 seconds we block one attack. 60 seconds, it is with 100% cooldown reduction. We're at 90%, so that's 6 seconds less. So every 54 seconds, we technically gain a shield, if we were to lose it. It would just take 54 seconds to recharge. That's actually really good, not gonna lie. It's still a lot of time, but we have for health, we do have the shields against projectiles. And we deal decent amount, decent amount of, oops, decent amounts of damage. Oh wow, wow, yeah, I'm getting careless because we have the shield and also there are some hearts lying around. I think at least two, maybe now only one more. But yeah, now it only takes 54 seconds to regain our shield. I like that, I like that. Of course, getting more cooldown reduction lowers it even more, but we don't really have control over that, do we? Oh, the Sheriff is already incoming. I don't think our damage is anywhere near where we want it to be. Do we have enough coins lying around? Oh my goodness, and also our range. <laughs> we don't have any range upgrades. Oh wow, no, and it's not enough. There are not enough coins lying around for us to level up. Do those guys, like the the not-sheriff dog things... Oh, come on. Do they give me coins? I, I keep forgetting. But I mean, with... No, we they don't. With the crit chance, we actually... Again, it's only 25% now, but that's technically every fourth shot. And with the crits, we deal decent damage. 550%. That's... Pretty nice. I mean, look at that. And also the same percentage goes for our ability that still has a, I think, six second cooldown or rather now it would be 5.4 seconds. I don't want to do math, but that seems about right. Sure. <laughs> it is right. I know that. Oh, come on. And we are about to gain our shield back. Right? Yeah, there it is. The ability was basically up already, but for some reason it didn't show. Or maybe it was just... It, maybe it just wasn't yet. Whatever. Again, we're doing decent damage. We only have one... Oh, come on. We only have one dash and that sucks. But we are... We, we technically have five hearts or five health once the shield is activated. 
and that's that's pretty decent even though we don't really <laughs> have the good stuff we don't have good abilities or at least not good no good damaging abilities but our defensive abilities not bad and we won now what do we get what do we get again the middle one triples your shot permanently but reduces your attack speed by 30 percent that would be so cool on nigel but no deal there area damage each time you dash gain one dash that's great like it it wasn't it wouldn't be my favorite i would have gone for for the triple shot oh come on <laughs> would have gone for the triple shot but i gotta say that's actually another dash really not bad and once again, we deal damage mid-dash, like if we dash through enemies, and we deal damage where we appear. So that's pretty cool. That's synergy for you. And I think we just crit like five goblins in one dash. Which is great because one, one thing that I really love about this game is that with the exception of the onion ability, where it just deals damage all around you, uh, everything else that like, deals damage, like your abilities, like your dashes, if they deal damage, they deal your regular attack damage. It's not like, oh, it only deals 10%. No, it deals the same amount of damage. It has the same amount of critical hit chance. It's just basically another attack of the exact same caliber, if you know what I mean. And I really like that. Like, if we dash through this enemy, there is a chance of 25% that we critically hit so we either go with 60 damage or 330 and I mean that's good you don't have to be a mathematician to know that oh and now we go up to 700% so we actually deal 420 damage when critically striking nice so basically the guns are blazing I'm stupid but sometimes fun. Permanently raise your attack speed by 30%, but half of your shots are less precise. I hate this ability. Like, especially with, with Nigel, I think that's really not great. But then again, if you shoot that often, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Shouldn't be. But yeah, it's, it's like an enemy runs at you and every, I think, like third or fourth shot just misses them basically feel like a stormtrooper that sucks i wouldn't have chosen that but again we are doing the all mid challenge the mid challenge uh because why not i said i wanted to do it i'm doing it so oh come on so we better do it correctly and once again we're just hey come on how how am i okay well now the last one was because I want. Wait, where did? How did I get hit? I didn't see anything this time. It was probably a projectile that I just didn't see, but I really didn't see the last hit. It got me. <laughs> and the second to last hit was because I wanted to dash but didn't have any dashes left. So yeah, of course it's my, it's my bad. But like seriously, how did I go and lose like four health like basically because of the, because of the. Uh, shield ability how did i lose like four health in pretty much one go i don't know i was careless i suck at this kinda but we should have our shield in a few seconds i also see a heart yeah so with the shield now back up we are basically at three health that's all right i guess is it great nope can we live with it sure I just stood there a tad too long. I just wanted to wail on that guy shit. Just to be done with him, but it really didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay, for the first time ever. For each current health, get bigger, deal 10% damage, but move 5% slower. <coughs> Every current damage. Now... That begs the question, at the time of picking up the ability, like even if I were to heal now, 
would I stay the same or do I just grow even bigger if I were to heal now? I'm not sure because the wording to me seems like this is a one-time thing. But I also thought that about the... Oh, we're gonna check it out now. Nope, that seems like we got stronger. Because before we had 72 damage, now we have 78. But that also means that we were... That we got slower again. Ooh, reduce the cooldowns. Great, 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 great. We are still faster than the enemies, although if there is another one of those like dashing mid-boss guys, we might actually have a problem because that guy is just... We are just slightly faster than that guy anyway. With this, we might just be too slow, I'm not sure. But we'll see anyway. I mean, we're dealing decent damage. We're dishing out good amounts of damage. Okay, and I want to go through these guys just to murder quite a lot of them. I want more EXP, but I can't go back and get them right now. Although here's a view, uh, here's a bit, not too much. I still, oh shit, that was bad. <laughs> Although every now and then getting, like letting yourself get hit is not the worst thing with the ability of the shield and also exploding when getting hit. So every now and then just jumping into a bunch of enemies to just let yourself get hit. Not the worst idea, just has to be like planned. I can't take credit for it <laughs> right now because I didn't plan it that time. I, I thought I had the second dash ready, but yeah. It's the thing with this game, it's easy. Oh no, oh no, not that guy. It's easy to see your dash amount. Like, it's really no big deal to see that. It's really not hard. But for some reason, I'm really not good at seeing it. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that we can block his dynamite with our shields, with our rotating shields. All right, ah, uh, he's just, he just has so many, so many HP. Okay, we just stand here. Every now and then dash. Hope we can block some of the dynamite. We can. And again, the problem is our range is the regular range, so we don't have enough range to actually hit him. Is the problem. Like, or uh, at least not from everywhere. That's the biggest like uh, advantage of Sierra. She has, I think, infinite range. Like, doesn't matter where on the screen the enemy is, you, she just. She hits him anyway. All right. Oh, that's that's a good spot right now. The one stick of dynamite that would have hit us actually got blocked by our shield again. Oh, I love the shield so much. Now, if we could... Oh my goodness, we're not even halfway through. If we could just, like, hit a few more critical hits, that would be nice. That would be really nice. I wouldn't mind that one bit. Oh, don't run behind his back because his hitbox, we already knew that. Yeah, I'm about to go down because with just two dashes and not a whole lot of uh, cooldown reduction, we just don't have the damage. By the way, oh no. Oh, I totally forgot. Of course, the ability that makes us bigger, slower, but stronger, the more health we have. Yeah, of course, It the, the less health we have, the weaker we get. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I was right behind him. I totally forgot what I just said. What? Hey, anyway, we came... like we, we actually got to Denzel. And we got three gold nuggets. That's not bad. We actually got to Denzel with just picking the middle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's more than I thought. And yeah, this guy, uh, no wait, that's a vulture. So if you buy enough here, you get a hawk, something like that, or an eagle. So all in all, you have to, uh, you have to spend 50 gold. So either one of 
these two or just spend enough on the little things. Because I think we're gonna go with... Oh, it's already maxed out with 10%. I mean, makes sense, but still. And we have two left, so let's go with... Cooldown reduction and faster movement. Sure. So we already spent 17 gold. That's not nearly enough for the 50, but I think we're all right. But anyway, that was the Bounty of One middle challenge, or the mid challenge, or whatever you want to call it. Give it a try yourself, either with the mid, uh, the mid option or a left or right. Doesn't really matter. Just. Just let fate decide, basically. In this case, we actually... Fate wasn't that bad to us. Wasn't that great, but wasn't that bad. And before I forget... How about you like and subscribe? Exactly, because we are so close to 700 subscribers. There are only two missing. So if you watch this right now, if you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed, by all means, go ahead, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you, nerds, so much for watching. I'm Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye.